what I'm about to tell you um, may be disturbing for some people who have rigid belief systems um, or who just are not very open-minded. If uh, you're feeling open-minded, well then, you can listen. I mean, you can do what you want, but <laughs> this is a, a little out there. So, imagine, imagine. You create a being with the power of your mind. So you imagine something into being. So say, a fairy. Say she has brown hair, blue dress, long pink wings, and long pointy ears. <laughs> so she's like, oh, mm, say, that big. And so you imagine her into being, and she lands on your arm, and she puts her hands onto this wound you have, like say a scar, and she begins to heal it. And you really visualize it. You really imagine it. And after a while, you notice that your scar has, after weeks of hardly healing at all, is really healing. Oh, wow. Is that a coincidence? Or did I will my body to heal itself? <laughs> Was what I imagined just in my head? Or did I create something that was real? Now, <laughs> how do I put this? Imagine, imagine that ghosts, that spirits, that demons that people have encountered, many thousands of people, all around the world every year reporting these things huh, millions really um, and imagine that all this phenomena had a same explanation imagine that it was all they were all being made by the human imagination imagine that the spirit world is like a sandbox and you just have to reach over not with your hand with your mind and you scoop up some sand and you create a form whatever you'd like it can be a door and you and you just open the door and you step through that's the way you dream at night the symbols so the door is a symbolic trigger of energy because what is all existence but energy <laughs> so you create the door as a symbol and that door on that level is like a spirit or like a fairy that you would create to heal a wound on your arm. Now, so yes, imagine that, that you might imagine um, angels into being or demons into being. Um, on your death experiences, People of different religions seem to have experiences that apply to their religious beliefs. You know, with Christians, for example, uh, it'll be something to do with heaven or something to do with hell. Um, I, I've heard people that, uh, you know, aren't that spiritual or religious and they'll have experiences just simply where they see people that they're familiar with saying it's okay. Now, the, the experiences differ greatly depending on the person and depending on their beliefs and their emotions almost like they were unconsciously crafting these images into being people say oh that's all because it's all in their heads well maybe not so um, what if we were drawn here I mean, what are we but spirits, minds and bodies? And so why why would we be drawn here? Well, imagine drawing in all these fairies and having them dance and sing and um, play full around, just just be silly. Um, well, why why would you do that? Oh, you could say, oh well, um, you know, it was an experiment. Oh, that's just intellectualizing, you know. Oh well. That was just for, <coughs> pardon me, that was just uh, 
for fun. But still, that, that's, trying, that's using your head, that's using your ego. Um, not really. You did it from, from the heart. It was intuitive. It was for intuitive re reason. It was because it makes you feel more alive. It's life, it's energy. That's why you did it. So why might we all be drawn here? But for the sake of energy and expression, Imagine the world is a spirit, you know, with a body that pulls our bodies, a gravitational pull here. Imagine the ego is, is a magnetic um, pull that attracts itself to the metaphysical energy of the earth that keeps us here. Now, so in theory, we agree to come here, but at the same time we're led here and we're drawn here. Yeah. And we, we experience this this thing, and we try to make sense of it up here in the ego. And really, we, we never understand it there because the ego is just a magnetic pull, and this world really is about energy. It's something you understand intuitively, and only intuitively. And this creator that we call God is just a spirit that was just playing in the sandbox. He, he scooped up a little bit of, of, the, of the sand, you know, and creates this little castle, this little world. And then he brings these spirits, come spirits, come here, come, come into this world. And we agree to come. And we play this game. And it's fun. It's energetic. On the ego level, it's chaotic, you know. That's where everything is serious, where you experience real serious pain and all that. But to the spirit, it's fun. So you can leave and then decide to come back again. Yeah, it's fun. It, it's an adventure. To the spirit, it is. Always to the ego, it's, it's something harsher and cruder. But that's not the true self. The true self is the spirit. So what if God is just a spirit? What if he's no more powerful than you or I? Yeah, he just and dreamed this, and we agreed to come here. And what if we can create our own reality, you know, in our own mind, or your own place and time, and go there wherever you want? Or you can create your own beings and bring them into life, your own spirits. What if you could communicate with those spirits? What if, you, what if those spirits were to create spirits of their own? And so on, and so on, and so on more and more they'd be less and less powerful within this reality because we are living in the sandcastle of this one spirit who would be very wise for us to respect and uh, understand this is his sandcastle um, nevertheless what if it's all a sandcastle like Edgar Allan Poe said a dream within a dream So anyway, I hope I didn't disturb anyone. I just felt kind of inspired and felt like sharing that. Um, you can make of it as you want to, but consider this. <laughs> we're so out of touch with reality in, in our world. We're destroying the surface of the planet, and thus we're destroying our future. We're killing each other all the time. We've lost touch with reality, haven't we? We're not exactly in tune with reality. So if someone were to come with reality served us on a silver platter, um, wouldn't we find that very strange? Imagine that. <laughs>